Uh, we are very excited about our next guest, best-selling author Brene Brown. She is taking an in-depth look at human emotions in a new docu-series. It's called Brene Brown, Atlas of the Heart, same as the book, uh, and it's out today. The series draws on research from her latest book, also called Atlas of the Heart. It's a five-episode series, and she explores 30 emotions and experiences that she says we all have. Take a look. The biggest mistake we make about who we are is believing that we are thinking beings, that we are cognitive, driven people who on occasion stumble into emotion, move it out of our way, flick it aside, and get back to our thinking selves. This is not true. We are, above all else, emotional beings who on occasion think. I like that. And that is 100% yeah. true. Brene Brown joins us now to talk about the series. This is a first on CBS Mornings. We like when we can say that. Uh, Brene, good morning to you. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Uh, good morning. We're very excited. We're very excited. And I'm also very curious uh, how you took your list of, I think, 87 emotions we all need to be able to name and understand and talk about. That's from the book. And then got it down yeah. to 30 and put it into a five-part TV series. What was that like? Um, what whittling the emotions down was painful. Um, you know, you're, you're like, oh no, you have to have, to have this one. You have to have this one. But I think we, we ended up with the ones that we wrestle with every day, the emotions that we really need to understand that are core to the human experience. And so we whittled down the 87 to 30. Um, and the experience was incredible. You know, I, I'm, I don't have a lot of experience, any experience on television. And so I was nervous and scared, but I just had this incredible production team and and an amazing crew and they just kind of said you play football um, which is a metaphor i understand you play football and we'll take care of the rest so you just pretend like you're in the classroom which is a comfortable place for me um and we'll take it from there so i was really lucky to be surrounded by very gifted people yeah you were very very comfortable on stage i'm so glad the book was so great Brene, we had you here for the book i'm so glad that you're now bringing it to on screen so people can hear you while you're talking because as you said, you're a great teacher. But I love in the piece, you said you surveyed 7,000 people 10 years ago, and three emotions kept coming up. Happy, sad, pissed off. That's something that we can all relate to. You said we need to expand our languaging. Yeah, I mean, just imagine, just imagine if all we have are these three buckets. What happens when we experience awe, wonder, resentment, joy, anguish, and we have to shove them into buckets where they don't fit? And the reason why this is so problematic is that language doesn't just convey emotion or communicate emotion. It shapes neurologically what we're feeling. So when we mislabel emotion, we are actually changing our experience. And so we, it's important to get the language right, man. Language is so powerful. It is, Brene, and, and emotion is so powerful. And I think we need to kind of drive into an issue that I think we have as a country when it comes to emotion. We raise yeah. kids to think that emotion is something you need to put aside to get whatever your job is done, uh, to get your schoolwork done. Um, and that is deeply problematic, particularly for little boys. So what, what do you say to that kind of negative idea that we have from the get-go about recognizing emotions, let alone naming them and talking about them? Yeah, I think it just, it, it comes back to that piece that y'all, that clip you showed. We are inherently emotional beings. When we make decisions, when we are in fear, when we experience joy, when we're excited about the possibility of learning, that's emotion. And let me tell you, when emotion is driving, behavior and thinking are not like riding in the front seat. They're hogtied in the trunk. Like when emotion oh, is yes. driving, it, and, and when we're not aware of it, we lose our power to choose. That's why when it comes to emotion, language is a portal into universes of new choices and second chances. If I can say, God, why did I show up like that in that meeting? Why was I so crappy with that person, you know, and then understand what's driving our behavior and our thinking. So, so one of the things, Bernadette, that you do in the show is you act out these scenarios with audience members. Um, and at one point, you did it to illustrate the differences between uh, sympathy, empathy, oh. and compassion, which I think a lot of people sometimes struggle to define. How would you explain that to our audience? Yeah, so we did these role plays and it was so fun. Um, one of the greatest, I think, gifts of this research is this concept of near enemy. 
a near enemy is masquerades as the quality that we're seeking, but actually undermines it. So the near enemy of empathy is sympathy. So in these role plays, like, so if, if Gail calls me and says, Hey, Brene, I just had this really hard day and this happened and I was really stressed out. And my response is, Oh, bless your heart. You poor thing. Yes. Like <laughs> I just heard Gail. Um, <laughs> does that feel good? No, that, you know, empathy drives connection. Sympathy drives disconnection. Sympathy is, Hey, I feel sorry for you from over here where that kind of stuff doesn't happen. You know, that's, and that's so, what, man, that's, that's fascinating. Hard one. It is. It yeah. is. You said that anguish is the most difficult emotion. What's the best emotion? You call yourself sister superior because you're the oldest <laughs> of four siblings. Just leave us on what's the best emotion. Then we'll let you go. <laughs> siblings call me that, not me. First of all, I think <laughs> Awe and wonder make us feel small compared to the universe, but Aww. make us feel deeply connected to each other. Brene Brown, language is a portal. Your series is a portal as well. Thank you very much. Always All, good to see you. Great to see you. All five episodes Always. of Brene Brown, Atlas of the Heart, are available now to stream on HBO Max.